Sometimes I like to write really simple music. I'm a jazz musician, and usually in jazz, uh, the music is pretty complex. Um, and if you try to just play a few little notes, very simple, um, people think, well, wait a second. He's just playing a few notes. Is he really a good musician? He should be playing more notes, and there should be more complex chords underneath. And like, what's going on here? Um, so it's it's kind of hard in jazz to be really simple. If you think of Count Basie, he was able to do it, but he had a whole band behind him adding the complexity, and he could just play a few notes on piano, and they'd sparkle, and they'd sound profound. And um, but uh, so, but I I write all kinds of music, and and sometimes it comes out very kind of simple and. I used to um, teach music to kids, uh, just beginners, intermediate, and uh, and I liked to write music for them because I wanted to write something that was simple, easy to play, but sounded good. And there wasn't a whole lot of that out there, uh, so I I wrote it myself, um, and uh, that was a lot of fun. Um, so this one is called. I'm going to play it. Um, uh, and then talk more about it. tune is a setup for the last note where the two where the two hands come together and they play the same note at the same time oh isn't that nice <laughs> it's like suddenly uh, they're together because through the, the whole tune they're in different time zones it's like long distance love they're each you know in their own worlds and uh it's kind of fitting together but they're still in their own worlds and only at the end do they come together um and uh, so that's kind of an interesting aspect to this. And, and the tune is in three, like one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And the right hand is hitting on the one. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So right hand is on the one, and the left hand is on the three. Three, one, two, 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 three one. you know, like that. So they're in two different worlds. Um, and the right hand thinks it's in the right place, and the left hand thinks it's in the right place. Um, and they just go along like that. Um, and it all kind of fits together, actually. Um, but to do that, you have to have hand, hand independence, you know. And the tendency of the hands, the tendency of the mind is to go with the right hand. You know, because that's the melody. The right hand feels very important, because it's got the melody. And the left hand is just, like, supportive trying to help out, you know. And so the mind naturally goes to the right hand and it becomes like a helicopter parent or something. Oh, yeah. You know, and the left hand is just trying to, you know, live in the shadows. And and that's what I was doing with this tune when I played it. And uh, to be able to play it faster and smoothly and all that, I had to be able to get the left hand more into my body. Um, because I couldn't have learned to play it fast just by practicing. I had to actually get that left hand into my body. And the way I do that, um, maybe it works for other people too, is I sing it. I try to sing the left hand. And at first it was really hard. Dum, dum. I was really struggling to get that to sing on the third note because my mind just wanted to imitate what the right hand was doing. And what happens is both hands become stronger because if I'm paying attention to the left hand, then the right hand becomes more independent. It doesn't need my attention. So it gets stronger. It gets more automatic. 
And then the left hand, because I'm finally giving it some attention, the attention that it was due all along, <laughs> it gets stronger. And so when you actually go back to just playing it, suddenly you can play it a lot faster. Um, but it's, it's, it's kind of hard to do because it takes a while for the mind to connect with what the left hand is doing. Um, and uh, so that's really a, a fun kind of thing to do. And actually, hand independence, I think of playing piano every time I wash the dishes because what I do is I'm rinsing the dishes with my right hand, putting them on the rack. And meanwhile, my left hand is <laughs> getting another dish. You know, it's... Anyway, even if you take piano for like a few years in the early years and then stop, it still pays off. I mean, just think of dishwashing. <clears throat> so anyway, that's <laughs> that's what I wanted to say about that. Um, I don't know. Oh, the tune is called Carefree. Did I say that? Carefree. Because it doesn't seem to have any worries at all. Which is a good place to be, I'd say. Um, so, carefree.